Good evening, everybody, and welcome to evening prayer on this Friday evening. Um, I We are not live this evening because we are at Mount Union Lutheran Church recording service uh, for this uh, Sunday evening, or Sunday morning. Yeah, Sunday morning. Um, so that is why uh, we are recorded this evening. Um, and so uh, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for worship. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Joyous light of glory, of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation, and we, your creatures, glorify you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, and you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praise with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 6. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are racked. My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me from your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you, and who will give you thanks in the grave? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed and flood my couch with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded and quake with fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. Lord God, you love mercy and tenderness. You give life and overcome death. Look upon the weakness and grief of your church, restored to health by your risen Son, so that it may sing a new song in your praise. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading from this evening is from the book of John, the sixth chapter. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him has God the Father set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, Then what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate manna in the wilderness, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus then said to him, to them. Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you bre the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven, for the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you, sh that you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. All that my Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, 
but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through your, the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. And this concludes our service from this for this evening. So from the Valor household to yours, we wish you a good night, and God bless.